What's up, Shoe Schwab? It is time for a fantastic podcast. I have a very special dude right here. 14 years old, made a lifestyle brand in the Shoe Schwab. And that is impressive because he started this when he was 13. And we have mom here as well, which is part of the, the whole gig and partnership. Is she looks after your business two weeks out of the year when you're away at camp. Yeah. Now, I read your origin story, and it's very interesting. You're just a young dude, wanted a new hockey stick, and mom, what did you say to him? Figure out how to pay for it. Figure out how to pay for yeah. it. I like that. So you, you put a bit of a fire underneath of them, hustle it up. I like it. So why did you start a lifestyle brand, like a clothing brand? So my friend in Calgary had started his own clothing company as a school project. Yes. And it was very successful. And so I kind of got inspiration from that. And I spend my summers here and as much time as we can here. So where are you from then? You're from Calgary. So I'm, I live in Kelowna. Yes, you live in Kelowna. Yeah. Okay. And so we come out here. I've been coming out here since I was very, very little. My grandparents retired here. Right. And my aunt uh, graduated from high school here. So we've been here. For, my family's been here forever. So we're always here. So that's, that's how really we started. Cool. Yeah. Do you play rec hockey at all? Or? Uh, no, I play. This year I'm in midget, and so I play house. House. I, I'm I'm totally new to the whole hockey scene. It was not my thing. It was yeah. football and rugby. Okay. <laughs> So who started um, designing all your... So I drew out all of my designs. Really? And yeah, so I've drawn out all of my designs up to date. And yeah, that's pretty good. When I get inspiration, I draw it up. So our original design is from uh, Copper Island, the side of Copper Island. Yes, And then yes. down across the lake where you can see Scott Street kind of. Yep, I know and, it. Yeah. Yeah, hey, there's an interesting story about Copper Island. Apparently it had foxes on it at one really? point and then the, the lake froze over it doesn't freeze over often it froze over and then the foxes got off so <laughs> that's that's crazy what else has actually given you inspiration around town around the city around the lakes around the community like what uh, else have you drawn inspiration from uh so the shoe shop so the trails in the shoe shop so right. i'm a big runner with, and me and my dad run together and we cool. do lots of hiking so my idea was to create a design and then have partial proceeds from that go to the Tree Flock Trail Alliance. Really? Who builds the trails and keeps them up to date. Yeah, so that and the CSRD. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so how much of your profits actually go towards that? Um, so 10% of each shirt goes towards that, and we've donated almost $200. That's, that's yeah. actually really cool. Yeah. Did you eventually get that hockey stick? Uh, yeah, I did, and it snapped two weeks later. Of course it did. Yeah. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> that really sucks. Yeah. So where is it you like to hang around in the street club? So we have a cabin kind of between Blind Bay and and Magna Bay, Eagle Bay. Right. Uh, yeah, across from Magna Bay. And um, <coughs> so we spend a lot of time there, and we boat around and water ski and play yard games and. Um, play cards with my family, so we spend a lot of time at the cabin with family. That's really cool. Yeah. I like that. So you're you're quite family oriented, you made your own business, you're super side hustler. Like that is that is amazing. Thank you. Like there aren't many thirteen year olds that would go like, hmm, I want to do a hockey stick. Oh I better actually go yeah. go work for it. How difficult was it to actually get your foot in the door of uh, one a clothing line? Because yeah. you could I've seen your brand all over town. Awesome. Like, yeah, you're, you're quite noticed. Like, I, 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 as soon as I started flipping through Instagram, I was like, oh, I know that sign. I'm gonna see if this dude's up to something. Yeah. And you're like, it's a, I'm a 14. I'm like, no way. You're a 14 <laughs> year old kid. <laughs> Thank you. Where was your first suppliers from? Because I'd imagine you got them printed out of Seminar. So it's printed in Blind Bay. Yeah, now, but before. Uh, it, so initially for our first. Um, like mock-ups, it was printed in the States and we got it shipped to us, and then almost instantly we switched to Blind Bay. So it was, it was a print-on-demand company? Yeah, that, yeah. And when orders came in, and yep. part of it was my husband and I went, we don't want to buy a whole bunch of inventory mm -hmm. if this is like a mm -hmm. thing he's going to get tired of in two weeks. Um, nope, it didn't happen. No, and it was probably only about a month, maybe, that it's it was printed awesome. in the U.S., and after that it's been in Canada ever since. So you had businesses approach you, like, hey, we can actually do yeah. this here. No. Do you have your own inventory now? Yes, yeah, so right now I carry my own inventory. Right. And as we need uh, more inventory, then I order it and then I get it printed. That's really cool. Who's your printer? Uh, it's named it's Watermark Solutions. Watermark Solutions. Yeah. What? You have, you have uh, sweatshirts. Yep. See the toque. 
have what other hats, um, t-shirts, crew necks, um, ladies wide necks, tank tops, water bottles, mugs. Wow, all so you went all out, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, all, everything. Yeah. That's phenomenal. I love it. Where are you going to, are you going to keep this as a clothing brand or are you going to go lifestyle with it? So right now we're kind of trying to push into the lifestyle Okay. Scene. So it's becoming more of a, a love the shoe swap brand instead of just a clothing brand. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, that's where we're going with it. So it's just going to be like a very local community niche, very specific. And I love that. I yeah. love very niche, very specific. That is fantastic. But like lifestyle brand goes into like a lot of like toothpaste, beard oil, um, anything like do you have any plans to expand anything past i'm um, not not at the moment no okay yeah what about new designs new what, designs what are you definitely on? so yeah we have some designs up and coming they're gonna be really cool and they'll be coming out in the spring the spring do you do you are you going to be doing like i suppose like uh, fall apparel uh spring apparel Sort of like what the the big um, corporations do. Like we're gonna have a fall line, and this is our spring line. And um, you, you working on stuff like that? Possibly, yeah. We tried that last year. We brought in like more warm clothes for winter, which obviously sell better. Yeah. But uh, we keep try to keep the same main products in. So we always have hoodies. We always have t-shirts, hats. So, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. What kind of hats do you have? Because the only hats that I will ever wear are the, like the big. Hats. Not like the little ones like this because I look terrible yeah. in them. What are the styles that you actually carry? So we carry snapbacks with like, you know, truck yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Snapbacks is yeah. all I wear. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, what stores are you actually in around town? Um, so we're in, on Alex all year round and we've been with them since the start. And then in the spring, uh, so the last season we sold, we were with Shoe Swap Marina and Anglemont Marina mm -hmm. and we're hoping to expand that this summer. Cool. Who is your main salesperson? Is it you or mom? Me. Good for you, yeah. dude. Yeah. I like that. And how's that been? Is it like a totally new experience? Yeah, I've learned a lot. Okay. Yeah, tons of fun. So when you started this whole thing, did you have that like knot in your stomach like, oh no, yeah. what am I getting into? Yeah, so when we reached probably after the summer, I was like, oh man, because you can't, it's hard to get out of it after that. Cause yeah, you're people, in it. Yeah, you're in it. <laughs> and people are expecting you to keep producing content. And so, but I've like, it's, I've never, no, no regrets. Like it's been tons of fun. No, it's it, yeah. all, if, if, if it, even if it fails tomorrow, you have learned so yeah. much for your next endeavor. Mm -hmm. For sure. That is, that is really cool, dude. I like it. So what do you got plans for coffee though? Are you actually gonna be doing rep? Or you're like, no man, I'm, I'm just gonna put that on the side for now. I love hockey. I'm gonna work on my business and make that thing go. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing right now. Yeah, so I spend a lot of time on my business. And then we'll see where hockey goes. Let's just see where hockey goes. Yeah, play yeah. recreational, do that. I like it. Yeah. Uh, you're on, what, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that? All, or, or, all of the above, yeah. All of the above, but not TikTok yet. Not TikTok. You're, no. you're going to be on TikTok. Maybe. Oh, you have to be on TikTok. <laughs> That's it. Just the amount of underpriced attention that is there. Yeah. You, it is, it's silly not to be. I would love to see what it is that you would actually put the music to, though. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Find some, some shoe swap band. So the type, there's lots of types of... Well, sweaters. What made you like hoodies? I want big drawstring, thickness. Like, I mean, we're in Canada, yes. Yeah. We're, well, so we, we wanted a high quality hoodie yeah. that people could wear and doesn't feel like a. Like, you know, when you go and into. On, on a vacation, you find like those really cheap vacation shirts. You want it to be like a high quality. You're speaking to a dude who has been to Hong Kong. <laughs> and, yeah, best story. I went to Hong Kong with a bunch of rugby dudes, and while we were going through the, the street, this dude was like, you come to my shop, you come, you come by now, you come by now. And I'm like, no dude, we're good. We're not, we're not gonna go to your shop, we don't wanna get murdered. Yeah. So he, he follows us around for two hours. <laughs> you come by shop, you come by, you come by now. Fine, you know what, you've been persistent enough, we're gonna see what you got. So he takes us through these, <laughs> through these greasy back alleys with like, clothes hangers going, <laughs> stuff there, people washing in the back. Cobblestone is just, it looks old. 
and we started going up these little tiny steps, and as soon as we walked in, it was like a pinup shop. It was immaculate. But you know, as soon as you take all that away, it's probably just gonna be rotten walls and all that. Yeah. But we started looking in <laughs> in the cases, and there's like Rolex, 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 Oakley. I said, well, that, the prices do not fit this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and on the way into the shop, there's this dude from Miami. He comes out with like three uh, suitcases full of stuff, and he's just he's raving about how happy he was, and he just got a bunch of knockoff things. I really hope he didn't sell it in the States, but it was amazingly funny. Yeah. One of my friends ended up getting a RQLX because they just spelt Rolex wrong. Rolex wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it lasted about two hours before it literally fell off his wrist <coughs> and fell apart. That's awesome. How hard was it to actually find good quality clothing? That was probably one of the hardest things because so we buy from wholesalers and wholesalers give you their products right. and this is what they sell. Yeah. So you have to go and round with all these different wholesalers need to like apply right. to be able to buy from them. Just a blank sweater. Yeah. And so it's just searching through catalogs and you have to test the product. So if you find one that might be good, you have to buy it, bring it home, throw it through the wash a few times, really? wear it a little bit, see how it like see how it works. So you did a lot of market research just for what clothing do I want to like put yes. it on? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. As soon as you put it on like a cheap piece of article, you like people are like nah, it's garbage. Yeah, and it has to, and it's like if you have a higher quality piece of clothing, then your brand looks better because it's not. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, perception. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. Style though. You look good. I have none. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did you get your style from? Like, there's, you could have chosen anything. Like, why that type of a tooth? Like, you could have chosen like a beanie, but you got like the nice flip up there. So that was kind of. So there's lots of other lifestyle clothing companies. Okay. And we've seen a lot of tubes like this, and yeah. I'm really like, I would go buy one of those tubes. So everything that I make is something that I would wear. How many uh, times did you have to buy like sweaters and like flip through catalogs just to find what you want? Like, because market research it takes ungodly hours to do properly. Yeah. So that was like your first step because you're like 13 years old, mom. Let's go look through catalogs. Yeah. Flip, 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 flip. Like you must have spent like a couple grand just making sure that you had the right types of clothing, the right artist clothing that don't bleed color, that don't shrink that don't look ratty after a few washes, that so, actually is durable. So what we did is that um, you can go into the, we, so we were in Calgary, and yeah. wholesalers have showrooms that you can go into, so you can check out all the hoodies beforehand and all of the clothing, so you go see what you like, oh. and then, okay, this might be one, so then you buy one of those hoodies. Yeah. And then, okay, there's three hoodies here that I like, so you have three hoodies that you can go test, or, I like this, but it's not quite right. right. And if you don't like one thing on it, then like you shouldn't be selling it. So if you find so this one I found, and I loved it at the start, and then we washed it a few times. It washed well, and then I've actually uh, since then I've been wearing it. It has some like it's worn really nicely. So that's cool. Yeah. yeah look, how many times have you washed that thing? Hundreds, probably. Hundreds. And what I'm actually noticing on it is that the pattern isn't faded, isn't cracked. No. Isn't it, it literally looks it, it looks new. Yeah. Like I'm impressed with the with the craftsmanship, the quality. That's really awesome. Ha. Okay, so but we're in Eco Treats. Yeah. Why why do you like this place? So they have really good hot chocolate, really good cookies, and especially the cookies. I really like ginger molasses cookies. Oh they they're good. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> I, I I love gingerbread cookies. But they're often too crunchy, too hard. Yeah. But well, the ginger molasses cookies are just like soft and squishy and just yeah, they like melt in your mouth. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But you got an amazing hot chocolate there, which had yeah. a huge froth on it as well. Yeah, you got a great mustache going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do you like here? Like they got lots of food here. Like because we're gonna go to Finns, we're gonna go to the pie company. Yeah. But that that just didn't work out. But like you're like this place, Eco Treats. Just it's just like really good food, really good service. It's just friendly. Like I don't know, it's just a nice place to be. It's a good vibe. And well, mom, what did you get? Uh, oh, just tea. Just tea. Tea. Yeah. Any particular kind of tea? Earl Grey tea. <laughs> Old school. I like Old it. School. I do like my Earl Grey tea as well. Okay. So you live. 
Did so you, you said you live in Kelowna? Yeah. So you drove all the way out here just for this? Yep. Uh, wow, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How was the drive? That was good. Yep, it was good. Why did you move to Kelowna? Uh, so I, I was born in Vancouver, and right. then uh, six months old we moved to Kelowna. Right. And I've been living, we lived there for six years. Right. Then we moved to Calgary. Okay. Then we moved back to Kelowna. Right. Last summer. Okay. So we moved to Kelowna. It's nice and warm. It's sunny, and my parents can get work there. What do you do? Uh, I work in communication. Oh, I like that. That's really cool, actually. We gotta talk. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Do you like the uh, the thick cords far better than the thin ones? Because again, style. Yeah. They look better. Yeah. I, I was never a fan of the, the small mm -hmm. small cords. Yeah. Yeah. Just. I just like the way they look. Like, oh, yeah. The small cords used to come out when you'd wash them. And these ones don't. Oh! They get caught because the loops are Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Man, there's some things in fashion I just don't know. And I'm like, oh, that, that actually has a use to it. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, it, it, like, he, he's been pretty specific about what it, he wanted it to look like and how he wanted it to function and what was important. And part of it is when it launched, it was, you know, friends and family yep. supporting him, right? Yep. And so he's like, well, if my friends are buying it, I want to make sure that it, yeah. it's not terrible. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, hence we ended up with large cords. It was a good choice. Yeah, thank you. I like the choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to get into pants as well? No, I don't How about so. patches? It'd be cool if they can sew them onto their pants. Yeah. How, many, how many designs do you have now? Right now, we currently have four. Four? Yeah. Okay. So this is, uh, what number is this one? The first one. So this is the first with. design? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to, to take a look at those other designs. That'd be neat. And then you can tell me about the... Like, because this one, you said that one's from Copper Island. Uh, yeah, so okay. on Copper Island, this is, would be the side of Copper Island. And then down here, this is the side of the mountain. Yeah. So what's that dock? Dock, boat, sun, seven. Yeah. Okay. So, so what about these ones? So that one is the mountain, so it's kind of like a big, has your name, my name nice and big on it, like Chuchwap Soul. Yeah. And then this one is like modern cabin. Yeah. So you see lots of those on the lake now. And then, how long does it usually take you to make one of these? Just like you sit down for like a couple days and like, hmm, how can I portray this as simple as possible? Yeah. While it looks good on a shirt without costing an arm and a leg. Yeah. So no color. <laughs> usually, I'll start working on one and then I'll come back to it like in a couple days later, or I'll come back to it in an hour because then so you, you kind of refresh. Yeah, exactly. So then you get a second look at it, and then. Uh, usually, I like, so I have a notebook that I do all my drawing in, yep. and then, so I have drawings from like a year ago that I can go back and look at for inspiration. I like it. Yeah. Um, that's it. Keep going down. Oh, right here. That's the other one. Taking shoe swap trails. That is so cool. Yeah. You, like, it's, a, it's a very simple design, but it, it portrays what you want it to portray. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. So the shoe swap soul name. Shoe swap, okay. Where'd you get the soul from? So like, I don't know, like kind of like your everybody who's here is like they love the shoe swap and like their soul that's, resides in the shoe swap. That's very true. Yeah. So we like good. name brand equals good shoe swap soul. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's a that's that's actually really solid thinking right there. Thank you. Did you do? any particular market research for that name or you're like no this is the name so I, I, th I really like the name and then but I had a few in the that were kind of in the running and what were the other ones uh, shoe swap t-shirt company okay glad you didn't pick that one yeah because <laughs> we didn't even move we didn't move on to other t-shirts I can't remember what the other ones were but this is I, I really liked it yeah, no, that's that's great. Did you end up talking to like a lot of the people just to sort of get a lot of vibe for the area? Um, yes and no. So I talked a lot to a family and friends up here because I know them. Yeah, obviously. Um, but I didn't go around to the public. No. Okay. Did Did you do like uh, flipping through Instagram, Facebook to see what's popular up there, what people would like? Yeah, we did what lots people of people watch you wear. Yeah. 
Um, so when we first started, there was only one other clothing shop clothing company. Oh. And now there's multiple, but so it was kind of like an area that we could grow into because there's not a lot in the really area, yeah. Because uh, so you said there there were some before you or some copycats now. There's some more now. Okay. But there was one before. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So back to the dock. Cause that that is that just really interests me. Were you yeah. like just swing your legs on the dock? Hey mom, I, I need a stick. Yeah. So I think I think my dad and my sister were swimming, and I was sitting there and I really wanted this hockey stick. Like I had my eyes set on it. Was it a specific hockey stick? You just yeah, I want a hockey a specific stick. Specific hockey. What stick. was it? So it's a Nexus Two and Pro, which is like. Uh, three hundred dollars. So my parents would buy it for me. Yep, that's right. And all my like, I had a couple friends that were getting it as well. So that I had this was like, well, this is what I wanted. And I, my parents wouldn't pay for it because I already had a pocket stick that worked just fine. Yeah. And so I, my, and that this was around the time my friend's business had kind of launched. Yeah, because you you took inspiration from your friend yeah. in, in there. You're like, oh man, that works. Yeah. I want to duplicate it here. Yeah, and so. I kind of thought, well, if he can do it, like, I might as well try, and if I make a few bucks here, then, mm -hmm. like, nothing wrong trying to do that. So, how long was it before, like, the dock moment to having your first thing printed on a t-shirt in your hand? So, my first thing printed was given to me as a Christmas present from my parents. That year? Yeah. Okay. And, well, that Christmas, and then the business launched in February. Of 2018. 18. Yeah. So I got my first hoodie in 2017, December. Okay. And then we launched two months later. And how long did it take you to get that stick? Um, I think I got it. I waited until the, right before the season to get it, so I got it in September right. 2018. Right. Yeah. How did you break it? I'm gonna take a slap shot. Yeah. <laughs> you took a slap shot and it just snapped a $350 stick. Man, yep. that must have felt bad, man. Yeah, it felt terrible. Because I was at an outdoor rink with my friends, and it, like, it wasn't even in a game. It wasn't even in a game. Yeah, and, and, and uh, I took a slap shot and it cracked, and then that was the end of it. <laughs> Stronger than you look, apparently. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. So it was your suggestion to make a business? Because you're like, how are you going to pay for it? How and are we going to pay for it? Okay. And so, like, the previous winter, he had shoveled driveways. Because we were living in Calgary at the time, and there's a lot of snow. Yep. So he'd been shoveling driveways, and he'd been, like, doing odd jobs for Grandma. Um, and he had said, can I start a business? And so I said, sure, what are you going to sell? What are you going to sell? Yeah. Well, Just, you had a business. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's it's, it's right. What are you going to sell? Yeah. I like it. And you were like, my friend's doing this, and yeah. let's try that out. So what? how enthusiastic were you, like... He's gonna make a Super. lifestyle like totally awesome. No, oh, I, I think it's freaking phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. So, so my family's all entrepreneurs. I'm the only person in my family who's has got a, a job job. Yeah. Yeah, job. Um, so this is like a totally normal thing, thing in our for world, you. That it's like, oh, you want to start a company? Knock yourself out. Right. What do your other family members do? Oh, my brother's in real estate. My sister's a designer. You know. Design, like a clothing designer? No, like an interior, like a house designer. Okay. Yeah. Did you get a lot of help from them? Where you're from like the entrepreneur side, like this is how you do banking, this is how you do investing, this is how you do talk to people, sales training, anything like that? So um, I'd say most of the credit goes to my mom because she, cause she's in communications, so she helps me get the word out. So she taught me how to do all that stuff. And then <coughs> my mom, my dad is in, well, he did lots of software when he was younger, right. so like development, so he knows like, and he took, um, what's the word? I took financial classes in college, right? So he knew how to do all the banking. So he showed me how to do that. That's so cool. A lot of credit goes to my parents. I'd imagine nothing's in your name because you're 14. It's all, no, it's all in the same. You uh, can legally do that. I thought you couldn't do that until you're 18. They will. So, so we had everything is in his name. Wow. The only, the only thing that's not in his name is his credit card for purchasing online because yeah. he can't do that. But yeah. everything yeah. else is fully registered to him. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Thank you. That is like. Unbelievably cool, like. <laughs> That's good. Are you gonna make um, a clothing brand somewhere else, or, you, or just like? I don't think so. No, but no, I don't think I will because this one's it's a lot of work already with school. So yeah. I think having two of them would be a lot extra. So this being a side hustle, 
like presuming it's just like if it blows up it blows up awesome but other than that what is it that you want to do so I either want to be um, a doctor so a pathologist so a, what? a pathologist explain so it study of disease love it all right Continue. or I want to go into business school business <coughs> school all right. do something probably on the marketing side I like that and that's it's communication I'm assuming that's what you do very cool. Which school you got your heart set on? Um, you're like, I'm going to go to Harvard, or you're like, I'm just going to go to Okanagan <laughs> College. I'll probably go, like, depending on what I do, it would, it would differ. So, because I'll probably end up doing my master's, right? so I'll do my bachelor's probably at UBCO, okay. because it's close to home, and then figure out a school to go to for my master's. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That initial conversation on the dock. How long did that last? We were down there for probably about half an hour, 45 minutes. That's it? Yeah. Well, it was, I mean, it was a, like... The initial, like, like sort of... Like, what's your idea? What are you thinking about? Any concepts? Can I, can I start making t-shirts? And, and I said, sure. But you've got to figure out, like, what goes on them. And yeah. then let's talk about how you're selling them and what's the theme. Yeah. Right? It's not just Love like... It. No, that's right. Like, uh, wh what's the thing you're making? And, yep. and Why do people do care? That? Like and well and who's your customer right like who knowing that is you? so important um, because that's gonna drive what's on it right are you wanting to sell to yep. thirteen year old kids do you want to sell to their moms are you wanting to sell to you know grown ups or whatever yeah um, moms on the ball yeah so you know we had a whole bunch of ideas and I think he got hot and jumped in the lake with his dad and sister yeah but then a notebook came out the next day and all of a sudden the thing I know he's like drawing stuff out and, and that kind of went on for, I don't know, a few weeks. Like right. we, we were at the lake and um, and then in the fall all of a sudden he's like, okay, I've got the one I want. How do I make it a digital file? So we found someone to help. Like the, the interesting thing is when you go to an adult and say, my kid's doing this thing, can he call you? Uh, there's not hasn't been a single person that's like mm, no Sorry, yeah it's I'm not like, willing to help right yeah that's true so you know so I I called a designer I knew and she was like so they had a meeting right and and like we've been really clear that like we're not doing the meetings for him right so like yep. like whether it was with the designer or like you know the first time Cheryl from on Alex called, emailed and said can I talk to you I was like you need to call her and he was kind of like I don't want to call her and so they said look I will sit with you but let's talk about what do you think you want to ask her, right? Yeah. Before you get on the phone so you're not worried about it. And he had this list of questions and he called and um, was super nervous. So yeah. I can't tell. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I believe nervous. you. <laughs> and, and after it was like, I, I think you might have like been like, oh my goodness, it's over. Yeah. But now like he gets on the phone with grownups all the time and has great conversations with them. Like it's been really fun to kind of watch, watch him, him grow, grow up and, and that just expand. And, I like that, that yeah. is super cool. When you started to have to talk to suppliers, talk to potential retail outlets, how long did it take you to start getting over that, that the nervousness of, man, maybe they're not gonna take me seriously because I'm a 13, 14 year old kid, like. I think, I think I'm still nervous, but it's, I'm, I'm, I can, now I have the confidence that I'm, I know I'm gonna be nervous, but I'll still be able to go through with it. Like I'll still be able to go up to them and talk to them. Whereas before, I'd never done it before. Yeah. And so that's where I was like even more nervous. But now it's just, okay, I've talked to them. Like they know who I am. They know my story. Yep. So there's no reason that why they wouldn't take me seriously. So like no reason to be nervous. That's how I kind of talk to myself. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The more you do it, the more natural it is. The more content you produce, the more authority you have. The yeah. more, like it just, it slowly builds. Like I get the whole thing of like, I'm scared to do this. But you know what? I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think like 95% of people are like, we want to see you win, right? Like, let's celebrate the winners out there. Yeah. And yeah. People most, who try. Yeah. Most people are super supportive of that, right? And and I think there's a difference when you're dealing with a kid. You know, like the the conversation looks a little different at the start. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you get there, and it's it's all good. That's cool. Yeah. How many one nighters? How many all nighters or two amers, three amers have you pulled? I don't think I've pulled any of those. Really? I've got a eleven of them. Yeah, maybe twelve. Well, being in one school, night, yeah. I suppose mom's like, you need to go to bed. Yep. This is a business thing. You can work on this later. Yeah. Yeah, but like, sort but, of like free time. Yes, but right, like, <clears throat> like he's got real commitments from customers, right? So somebody, yeah. like, if he's gonna do this, 
you have got to take it seriously. And yep. so if an order comes in, you know, maybe you're not playing Xbox with your buddies right now, go deal with that and get that done. Yeah, that's right. Ha. Yeah. So sometimes, sometimes we're jerks about it, aren't we? No. no I, it's because I need to do, I need to live up to, like, if you don't do something once, if you don't get an order shipped on time once, then they might not order for you again. So you lose a potential customer. That's, that's right. Yeah. How much uh, product are you going through right now? Um, What's your best seller? My best seller is probably... Well, let's go best seller with uh, hoodie or toque, and then we'll go design. So what's your best seller? Uh, probably my hoodies. Okay. Yeah. And they look warm. What yeah. sizes do you carry? Uh, small to extra large, but we take... If people want double XL or extra small, they can order them. Like, they can DM me or message me on Facebook, and then I can do a special order for them. So you also do direct-to-consumer sales then? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's and cool. How do you process that? Do you have a website? So I use uh, Shopify POS, so Good for you. point of sale. So you can plug it into your phone and swipe their credit card. Yep. Or they, I'll get them to e-transfer me money on email. That's awesome. Okay, so what is your most desired design? So because of the timing of which ones have come out, so much for my hoodies, the most that I've sold is, this, is my sun and mountain design. And then, but my most that I've sold probably this summer would be my newest one with the shoe swap sole. Like, it's called a peek at the shoe swap. Which one was that? So, um, hold, hold it up with your phone. Let's see that one. <clears throat> it would be... What do I stand here? Yeah. It's, so we call it a peak at the shoe swap because it's a peak of the mountain. Right. Like a peak on a mountain. When you climb a mountain, it's called the, you're at the peak of the mountain. And also it's a look at the shoe swap, like almost like a peak at the shoe swap. So that's our, been our bestseller this summer. <laughs> You've also cleverly named it. <laughs> that is so dope. <laughs> I like that. So I think I asked you the question that I cut you off. How much product are you going through right now? Like, the, it depends on. It's hard to say because we carry so many different pieces. But well, dollar wise, it's quite seasonal. It's like, quite seasonal. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. so, the summers are, are you really know, big busy. volume, and then it, it's quiet right now, and it'll bump up at Christmas. And, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It usually does. Yeah, and then it'll kind of quiet down until spring again. Okay. Yeah. Are you looking at different articles of clothing now? You, you, you're experimenting a lot, like... Yeah, so we've been experimenting with a woman's hoodie because okay. ladies like a like different cut. Yeah, men's. different cut, different pockets. Yeah, different pockets, whatever. side pockets. And we, yeah, we just, so if we find something cool on a wholesale website or through a catalog, we might order it in, even though we already have a hoodie, just to look at it. So, like, if I see something else that's, like, a different hoodie, different than this, same mm -hmm. style, so, like, a hoodie that could replace this, I'll order it in. If, yes, yeah, if I like it, I like it, and then, but if I, it's if I like it enough to change, so then I have to replace all my product. So it has yeah. to be like blown out of the park. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Yeah, you gonna get ones with zippers in it? We Not tried uh, zippers last year and they didn't sell very well. Really? Yeah. That so, sucks. Cause I'm like a huge fan of a zipper. Yeah, but yeah, we, we should probably fine. We might try again. We tr and. We did get questions about them this summer, but because they were, we, they did not sell last year, we didn't order them in. Uh, I don't know if that makes rather yeah. sense. I mean, why would you spend money on something that just doesn't sell? Yeah. It's a dead product at a certain point. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to get onto, spot, onto, onto Shopify? Like, um, so this is, this is what I would have done differently. So I would have set up my Shopify much later than then? setting up my Instagram. So I okay. set up my Shopify almost... As soon as I launched, I launched in February, but I launched my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Twitter all at the same time as my Shopify. I would have kept my Shopify, because it's expensive, like, it adds up after a while. Oh, no, no, I, I, my first um, online business was a Shopify dropshipping store. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's not cheap to just keep it running. Yeah, so you need to have sales before you can keep going and you get two weeks free. So I used my two weeks free at the start. Yep. Yep. And, yep, yep, um, yep, yep. <laughs> but so I would have 
built up my social media at the start to mm-hmm. get more people know, to know about me, maybe get a couple more orders at the start, and then launch my Shopify website after the fact. Remember the first day? Do you remember the day? Yeah, and but the first day that you go live, super exciting because I got, I was like, oh my gosh, I just got my first order. Like that's so exciting. Did you really? Yeah. 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 And you're, it, you're sitting in a coffee shop because we used to go to a coffee shop to work. Yeah. And he hit go live, and it was about. I don't know, maybe 20 minutes later, an order came in. No way. And, yeah. and um, he was like, like we're in a, co- like a crowded coffee shop like this. And you're like, and he's like, bum, 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 bum. And, <laughs> and like almost like bouncing around. Yeah. So excited. And everybody's kind of like looking at this kid that's <laughs> excited about something. What'd you sell? Um, I, my first sale was a hoodie and it was sold at $52. Yeah, and that's a sale you'll never forget. Yeah. That feeling that you'll, you'll never forget that first, like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I got an eBay dropshipping store now, and that, that first feeling of that adrenaline pump, you're like, oh my god. Yeah, I just, yeah. It's awesome. It is. Do you um, get that feeling still? Like, with every little sale, you're like, mm, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, every little sale is like kind of like a reminder to keep working because when you. Do all the work for the sale, like you know, it's paid all the back end work yeah, that you've already done. That people don't see in the front, it pays off. Yeah. No, one day you're you're gonna be very well known. You're gonna sell lots of product, and everyone's gonna say you are an overnight success. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> overnight, uh, 14 years. Yeah. yeah, that's just it. Yeah. There's no such thing as an overnight success. You didn't see the years of the grind before that. The tears, the late hours. Well, no late hours for you. Yeah. 11 o'clock. That's it. Cut off. Yeah. Bedtime. That's, yeah, my my parents are very. Yeah. No, it's a good up thing. Early bedtime. <laughs> yeah. Because if it was left up to you, like, because it was always left up to me, like, no, nah, two a.m. is fine. Yeah. No homework's done, but two a.m. is fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't feel like that now. How how are your grades in school? What do you? Really? Well, this year they're supposed to be really good. I haven't got my report card yet, but I got all my marks back from my teachers, and they were really good. That's cool. Yeah. I was terrible in school. Like unbelievably off. I actually failed grade 8 English because my English teacher was so bullish on spelling tests. And since I didn't particularly read much, I didn't know how to spell. And I would get one, two, three right out of a 10 question test every day. It was like 70% of our mark at a certain point. Every day, 10 words. And it was so embarrassing because we had to do like, pass it back to the person to mark it. Like, oh look, here's one you got right. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't feel good. No, <laughs> Have you always had decent grades? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've always done really well in school. That's good. That's really good. If I ever wanted to go to college or university or something like that, I'd have to probably spend at least five years upgrading. <laughs> yeah. I have a friend, his brother, who's upgrading right now, and he's spending, he spent a lot of time upgrading. Yeah. yeah. So I was going to go for uh, engineering. Like uh, in the oil patch, uh, what is it called? High pressure engineering or something like that. And uh, like, yeah, you got to upgrade this and this and this. Like, okay, cool. Upgraded that. Taught myself physics. I failed physics twice in school. Taught it myself. And then it came down to another course. And then the oil dropped out. I think you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go do something else now. If this ever falls through, and I hope that it, not, it doesn't. Do yeah. you have plans for something else? So you're just like, I'm gonna get a job, I'm gonna figure it out later, but I'm gonna be an entrepreneur eventually, or have a side hustle doing something else. Yeah, so I always wanna, I think I'll always try to have a side hustle doing something else, or if that turns into a full job, that'd be awesome. Yeah. But it's it's kind of nice because I get to pick my hours, so it's not Isn't like I have to show up for work and work eight hours a day. It's, okay, before school I can check some stuff, after school, do a little bit of work, and then like on the weekends, maybe come out to Sam and Arm or go yeah. to the Sick Moose for a little bit. That's cool. Yeah. So when you when you get more sales, you're like, hey, friends, look at this. No, <laughs> I actually keep my stuff you're pretty, pretty quiet. quiet about that. So, because I moved back to Kelowna this summer, and I don't think none of my friends in Kelowna know about my business. Oh, bro, you gotta tell them. No, nah, because I, I don't want to be that kid that always has to pick up the bill. Yeah. Okay, he's got a good point there. <laughs> hey man, you got a you got a business, don't you? You pick this up, buy me a cookie. Yeah, yeah. You're like, nah, bro. This is this is business. This this gets back reinvested into stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
How much reinvesting have you done? Because you got the Shopify, you got a bunch of stuff. Have you particularly run ads? Uh, like run, uh, I've run lots of Facebook ads. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, we yeah I've done quite a few Facebook ads. I did Google a Google ad for a little bit, but I didn't get a lot of. Uh, Google that, is appropriately priced for what it is that you get. Yeah, and I didn't get a lot back per se because it's harder on Facebook ads. You can market it to people in the shoe shop mm -hmm. and like yeah, market it to them. ages and it's different wonderful. posts and tags. Yep. But Google, you, it's like it shows up on somebody's desktop or on the side of their phone. So like I never click whenever I get Google ads, I never click on them. Like, so. Oh, you mean the the, 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 the banner ad, yeah, the sidebar yeah. ad, yeah. Stuff like that, I never... Yeah, that's right. Those. Unless it's in feed, yeah. people don't really care or notice. It's, it's very important to make sure that your ad doesn't look like an ad. Yeah. Like, it has to look natural, it has to look like it's supposed to be there, and the only thing that people are going to notice in that is that it's sponsored on it. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so where can the people find you? So, they can find me on my website, shoeswapsoul.com. I add on Alex all year, and then in the summers, hopefully, Shootwap Marina and Anglemont Marina. Okay, are you going to be expanding into Vernon, Kelowna, Anglemont? Oh, Possibly Kamloops. Really? Yes. Who, are you, who are you getting in Kamloops? Who, I'm who's not. your target? Who do you want in Kamloops to carry your brand? I'm So, I don't want specifically somebody. I want a, a store that can carry it that is in the market, so like that has the same customer as me. Okay, yeah, so, like, obviously, yeah, so you, you would want people who are, like, already in that lifestyle band of, like, I want to support the locals yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Not, like, I'm just going to go to Walmart and get a... Yeah, and get a... Whatever hoodie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's cool. All right, so who, what about Vernon? Have you looked into that market yet? No, I haven't looked into Vernon. Okay. Yeah. And who else do you want to expand to, like, Rebel I'm, Stoke? I want to get into Sycamus. <laughs> I don't have anything in Sycamus. You don't have anything in Sycamus? No, um, but... Yeah, I'm trying. To, I want to get into Sickness this summer, and then hopefully, maybe just another. Uh, I was in the Chase Visitor Center for a little while, and possibly try to get in there again. Okay. So if a company actually wants to carry your brand, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, they can email me, and my email is on my website, or they can message me on Instagram, Facebook, and then I we can sort it out from there. That's you show up soul. Yeah. Cool. Man, like, I'm super impressed at what you've done, Thank what you've you. achieved. Like, Thank you very much. Most kids wouldn't have bothered. <laughs> they probably just actually probably just gone and done something simple. Like, this is difficult to do. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out, hey. Yeah. Turns out. <laughs> That's so cool. Did you ever buy yourself another hockey stick? Yes, I did. I bought. So, I had my hockey stick before. I bought my. Nexus 2N Pro, and then it snapped, and then so I went back to use my old hockey stick, and then that snapped. So then now I, I got myself a new hockey stick. You gotta stop going to the gym, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just breaking sticks left, oh, right, and the, center. The second stick got the stick got snapped because the kid slashed me really hard with their stick. But yeah. Ouch. I've never played hockey. My feet are so flat. It's like two minutes on the ice, I am in such pain. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not a game for me. No. That and when I was like three, four years old, I was like skating and I slipped, boom! Yeah. And just, I got this massive like fat lips. I was like, no, this, no. this is not for me, yeah. no. I'm not, I'm not gonna have things on my feet that I can just slip on that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you like hockey though? Um, I enjoy, I really enjoy like being on a team and the team aspect of it. Okay. And then I really like being people, so it, like Sh chirping, chirping, chirping. Oh, so like, you're a you're a mouthy one. Yeah, are you? I really I enjoy like that. that. But and and I, I have a really good talent. So Ma Matthew Kachuk, who plays in the NHL, okay, he mouths off a lot to people, and then they take penalties because they'll like retaliate. Yep. And I'm really yep. good at that. And oh, so that's my style. You dirty bugger. Yeah. I but, like and that because style. because I'm really small though, it works. As in, I. I can get knocked over a lot easier than the bigger kids. So like if somebody retaliated on a bigger kid, he's not gonna be knocked over. But if a big kid retaliates on a smaller kid, he can easily push them over. Yeah. So, yeah. But whenever I played rugby, I played <laughs> very on the line of what we're allowed to do. Yeah. And sometimes I get punched in the face. <laughs> Jeez. I was 
I went into a rut with the ball, and I was trying to put the ball back to my side, and this dude is like, who tackled me, he's trying to do the same thing, even though he's not allowed, he's supposed to let me do it. Yeah. And he just, in my eye, Jeez. in front of everyone on the side, like, I was like five yeah. yards off, and my head bounced off the ground, and it was like, ooh. <laughs> Didn't get called, though. No? No. That sucks. I was kind of mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're on Instagram, you're on Facebook, you got the Shopify store. Yeah. And they can contact you through that, obviously, because I, I found you through Instagram. To yeah. Contact you through that. They can buy stuff online. That is. How much do your hoodies go for? Uh, hoodies sell for $60. That's not, not a bad price, really. No. And and we have free shipping on, on our in Canada. Oh, uh, solid. So, yeah. Because Amazon is able to make, to do free shipping solely because that they are subsidized by the government. So when an Amazon package hits a station, they get a dollar back. Really? The more places that it hits, they get a dollar back, a dollar back, a dollar back. Which is why Amazon can do it at such a well, free shipping yeah. for basically everything. And then they ended up buying like their own trucks, their own planes, their own everything. They're, they're literally the only company in the world that is a retailer like that and a delivery company of their own yeah. stuff. The fact that you can actually do free shipping within Canada is unreal because we don't have that. Yeah. We're not subsidized by our, our no. government, by, by, which is why, like, every time a Canadian orders something, we're like, what? Shipping? Really? Yeah. <laughs> that is really cool. Thank you. All right, my man. It was a fantastic conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Mom, Thank you. it was you also too. fun. Guys, gotta check this dude out and buy some clothing from him because he is a young hustler and I absolutely love it. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Peace. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Your attention means the world to me. Please, please, please share this. Pass it on. And tell your friends it's the best podcast in the Shishua. <laughs> Let me know what you thought. Have a good day.